but the system we have in place today um, is is a very sophisticated uh, system which looks at identifying issues in sports betting um, odds for approximately 53,000 matches worldwide. Um, this is for th four different sports, tennis, football, handball and futsal. So the system itself is running um, sophisticated algorithms which identify um, deviations or odds movements which are what we'd consider out of the norm. Um, what they will then do is they will then go in and investigate uh, why those odds movements have happened and the reasons behind them. So we have a, a whole host of um, freelancers working in different jurisdictions for us which provide us information which on 99.25% of the time actually really explain what's gone on. This could be down to team use, injuries, um, suspensions, could be manager being sacked, it could be weather conditions. All these, all these factors are normally easy, easily explain what's gone on. Um, once we've eliminated all those issues or all those, um, those reasons, we then have to look beyond that and try to find out why. And when we've got nothing left, then really the only thing we can do is we, can, we have to raise the flag and inform the Federation that we actually think there's something suspicious within this game. Um, but the reality is we're only talking about 0.75 of all the games that we're, 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 we're monitoring for football. So actually there isn't, it sounds like it's not a lot, but then when we put it into numbers, we're talking about over 300 matches a year that we have concerns with. So actually 300 matches is probably 299 more than you want. So um, yeah, it's a small number in, in the grand scheme of things, but if we, if we microanalyze it, it actually becomes quite concerning.